Yeah, I don't know, McKay. I think you should have won best dress. Come on, man. This is Kelly's idea, right? She want to make a fashion statement, so this is my homage to Fred Astaire. Except he could dance. You can dance. Dylan? Yeah, hey, good looking now. Is this what you had in mind? No, can I talk to you? Hey, Dylan, don't go too far away. You're on deck. What's the matter? When do I get to read your manuscript? Well, I told you when it's ready. Why is it done enough for Andre to read? Because she's my editor, and she's the one that got me into writing in the first place. Then why don't you go to bed with her? What are you, th what are you saying? I'm saying that I really resent being good enough to sleep with, but not good enough to show your writing okay, to Okay, I will show it to you, all right? But not because you value my opinion, only because you want me to shut up, right? Hey, McKay, where are you going? Hey, I'll be right back. Kel, listen, I don't know what's going on with you, but I do value your opinion. No. You value the way I look and the way I dress and the fact that I have sex with you, but you don't listen to a thing I say. I, I don't listen to you? Who was I listening to when I picked up this ridiculous hat and this stupid cane? I don't want to have this picture taken anyway. Fine, we won't take it. After all that work we went through? You went through. I just sat there hating every minute of it. Then you should have said something. I couldn't. You were too busy putting my hair up and criticizing my makeup. I did nothing of the kind. I said you look perfect. Yeah, but you didn't mean it. You never mean it. Kelly! You know, when I was 12, it was, oh, of course you're pretty, honey bun, but let's see if Weight Watchers can do the trick. We're back to that again. And when I turned 15, you didn't get me a cake like a normal mom. You got me a nose job. You begged me Only for it. Only after you told me I needed that it. That is absolutely not true. From the time you were old enough to read, all you could talk about was beauty and fashion. That is because that's all you ever talked about. When you weren't passed out or out picking up one right, night. Okay, I'm a terrible human being and I've ruined your life. Is that what you want to no, hear? No, I don't want to hear anything. Well, that makes two of us. Fine, then I will shut up. But first, I want to thank you for teaching me how to be shallow and insincere. Why are you trying to hurt me? Oh, God. God, I am so sick of everything I could scream. You are screaming. Yeah, and it's about time. Brandon, hi, how are you? Fine, late, crazed, how are you? Okay, I know this is gonna sound a little weird, but I need to borrow $50. Not likely. Steve's here. I'll be right down, Mom. Brandon, can't you help me out? Brenda, all I have in the world is $10. Thanks, but I need 50. Why? Minnesota requires a $50 deposit before they'll process an out-of-state application. So why don't you just hit mom and dad up for a check? <sighs> you haven't told them you're applying there yet? I just didn't want to get into a big family powwow over well, this thing, Well, eventually you know? they're going to find out, Brent. When were you planning on telling them? After you'd already been accepted? I just haven't found a good time to bring it up, Well, now right? is definitely not a good time, okay? Because dad is not even home yet, and we're already late for the game. The application has to be postmarked before midnight. <sighs> you're killing me, Brent. Do you think Steve will lend me $50? He just pulled in. Good. Sorry I'm late. I got way late at the office. It's okay, honey. No rush. No rush. He wants to be there for the opening tip-off. Hey, 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 hey. I know great shortcut, okay? Hey, Dad. Let's go. No, I'll be down in two seconds. Ah, fine. Want to have a little something to eat before we go? Yeah, your mom made fresh fruit cups. No, thanks, Mom. I think we'll just get a couple dogs at the game. <laughs> 